So friends, that right there is I-40. Lauderdale Courts, if you look under I-40, that's where the office to Lauderdale Courts is. If you look, I-40 goes right there. Just on the other side of that is where Elvis lived at Lauderdale Courts, a little bit further down. And he played at a place, you can see the pyramid downtown, and this is St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I'm at the corner or the round of Jackson Avenue in North Lauderdale. You see this is actually just a curve, but it's showing two different streets merging together because Lauderdale Courts is on Lauderdale right there. But what I wanted to show you was there was an area that Elvis played in as a kid that they called the Triangle. Fire station number one is actually in the Triangle, which I think is very ironic. This is where the ambulance that we discovered stayed until it was auctioned off in 1991. It stayed in this actual fire station. Fire station number one in the triangle that Elvis played in as a kid. Gladys worked at the hospital that was right there, St. Joseph, and that was before the highway was in. The highway actually took out Elvis's Alabama Street house, which if you went right there and turned left at Lauderdale, his Alabama house would be at the end of the courts on the left-hand side. That right there would be Alabama. Just a little bit of another piece of the Elvis puzzle. The irony that the place he played at as a kid is where the ambulance that took him to the hospital stayed at until it was auctioned off. Lauderdale courts right there. So this is an aerial of that area. Right there is where Elvis lived at Lauderdale Court, right on the end. Right here is where the triangle was. And then right here is where the fire station is current day. And then right over here is where his Alabama Avenue house was. So you see Alabama was at the far end of Lauderdale. That whole section that you see right here is all Lauderdale Court. That just gives you a little idea of where it all was at. So that is the fire station right there that we were just standing in front of. I'm going to show you down here, Lauderdale. These people drive so fast around here. You have to be real careful pulling out because they'll run right up on you. So we're going under I-40 right here. To the right was where Winchester was, which Elvis lived down there. If you go down that street at the dead end right down there, that's where his apartment was. Where you see that dead end, his apartment's right to the left of it, 185 Winchester. And then they moved to Alabama Avenue, which all this has really changed. But Alabama would be right down here. His house was actually And you've seen this in other videos when I've talked about it. We figured out that his house was actually right here. The Alabama house was literally right there. In fact, that fire plug is in one of the photos of him standing there in front of the house. It was right there. It's changed a lot now because they put in St. Jude's Hospital right there. But this is the spot. This is definitely the place. So now I'm gonna show you Lauderdale. This is Lauderdale Courts from the back. We're gonna make a right turn right here. And I'll show you how big it is. Now they lived on the other end of the courts, but Elvis would play in this part of it. As a teenager, there's photos of him in these parts. But that's them, and they go all the way around here. I'm going to turn to the right right here. There's the fronts of some of them. And they have the kind that they lived in, and then they have the kind that Bill Black's family lived in, which was this style, which was the one, the one stories, if you will. So I'm going to go straight across. So this is still, that's where the office is on the right. This is still the courts. And you'll start seeing the bigger ones down here. And Elvis lived down here on this end. I'm gonna pull around. I'm gonna show you where the 
historic marker is. So if you're ever in this area and you want to come down here and see, it's across from the uh, Sheraton. And it's a one-way street right here, but I'm going to turn back to my right and I'll pull off and show you. This is something that you can do. It's coming right down here and that looks like the place that Elvis lived, but that's the first one. And then there's a second one and a third one and Elvis actually lived in the third one. Actually, I'm telling you wrong, there's only two of them. They're just really big. So I'm gonna jump up on the curb right here and I will show you. And I mentioned the Sheraton, it was actually the Crown Plaza's right here. So directly across from the Crown Plaza and that by the way is I-40. So when you're on I-40, the bridge coming from Arkansas is right there. If you come, once they finish the bridge, if you get on I-40 and you look to your right, you'll be able to see Lauderdale Courts where Elvis lived. The famous photo of him in the army suit when he was doing ROTC happened right here with those windows in the background. That was his bedroom window. That was the living room window right there. They actually lived here, but you couldn't get to the apartment from here. You had to go through that door down in the basement to get there, or you had to go around this side. So we're gonna walk around this side, and you can see there's even a marker here that talks about him being right here. It says Elvis Presley and his parents, Vernon and Gladys, lived at 185 Winchester Apartment 328 from October of 1949 to January 1953. He was still in high school, by the way, in January of 1953. Former residents remember foremost that Elvis liked to sing and play guitar. He practiced in the basement and performed for neighbors on the front steps of his building, and I'll show you those steps. Elvis volunteered to sing at Teenage Dances in the Recreation sing Center. Johnny Burnett, founder of the Rock and Roll Trio, sometimes refused to let Elvis perform. The Presleys moved in 1953 because their income exceeded the level allowed for project residences, and I think that was because of Elvis's income. Bill Black also lived in the courts, but he did not meet Elvis until they recorded together at Sun Records in 1954. For three years, Bill and Scotty were Elvis' original band members. Scott, uh, Bill lived, Elvis lived here. Bill lived all the way on the other end of the courts, which is a good ways. So I'm going to show you some famous photographs that happened right around here. And this is all fenced off, of course, for safety. And I'm glad but you can actually rent that apartment if you hadn't seen that video. You need to check it out. And as I mentioned, that right there is I-40. Back in the day, this was Winchester. This street, you see the street right there. This was Winchester. And there's a famous photo of Elvis and a young lady sitting in front of a house right here, because there was a bunch of old houses here, and the ramp to I-40 took that stuff out. There's the front door to the apartment. You go up those steps, go up that front door, go up the steps, that's how you get in the apartment. But I'm gonna show you something else. Where I-40 went, you've heard a lot about when Elvis was called by uh, Dewey Phillips when That's All Right Mama was played on the record, uh, on the radio the very first time, and he was at the Suzors. If you follow I-40 down just two blocks, that's where the Suzors was. It was right there. It was that close to here. It was just, just over there, directly under I-40. So you actually drive over the top of where the Suzors was when you're on I-40. So coming here, they talked about Elvis standing on the front steps or sitting on the front steps and singing. That's the steps right there that they're talking about. And the famous photo of Elvis acting like he's uh, a gunfighter happened right here. In fact, I'll step up here and shine over. You can see the blue footprint was right out here. Now that footprint where they show it at right there is not correct because this concrete's been replaced. But he's actually standing in front of this little area right here. This is just this area from a different angle. I've actually stayed in 185, which is where they lived. I've stayed in the apartment, you can too, right there. I've actually stayed there, 
and there's a guitar in there and I sat on this porch right here and played Elvis songs and Elvis did too. You can also go up on the roof. Trey, Globetrotting with Trey is doing some stories about uh, Elvis being on the roof and things like that and going up the stairwell, which that's the stairwell windows right here that go up and you could get through there onto the roof, which I think is pretty interesting. So Elvis would have been on the roof of this building. It's all changed a whole lot. And where the triangle is, is right there was behind these houses that were here on this street. And that's where the fire station is. The fire station is literally right there in the triangle. But that street that you see down there is the old Winchester. So the thing that I want you to remember, next time you're on I-40, coming from Arkansas way, heading east, look to your right. You see the Danny Thomas Boulevard sign right there? If you look to your right, you can see the front of Elvis's apartment right there. This took out these houses. It took out the Alabama house, I-40 did, the house, but the land is still there. So we still got a few Elvis fragments around here, friends. And make sure that you go to the pyramid. They would do Elvis shows there after Elvis passed. It's a Bass Pro Shop now, but you could see people standing out on the balcony there that's glass bottom. There's a restaurant up there. It's really cool, really good food. Just another little piece of that Elvis puzzle. So if you're interested in seeing the ambulance, you can come right here to the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. We are two miles from Graceland. Literally, you have to drive by us to go to Graceland. So we encourage you to come go to Graceland, and after you're done, come see us and check out the ambulance. You can take a karate lesson, and you can see all kinds of other cool stuff. Click this QR code with your phone. Take it out right now. Simply open up your camera and point it at this and scan it. It will take you directly to the website. If you're coming for Elvis week, make sure that you go ahead and buy your tickets. We're selling out fast. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.